but for those of us who were coming up on the scene in LA, uh, we were definitely a Red Sea poetry. Um, you know, a lot of people did work out at at the Poetry Lounge and John Hensley spot. Yeah. I just don't want to throw it out. Shout that's kind out. of a part of my life that I missed. Like in the early Square Roots days, like Tuesday nights at University of Penn. That's you know, like Rich Medina on the spot. Have, have, was yeah, going, exactly. Like Rich Medina. And, <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of a lot of brothers who 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 repeat words like this, that, that, and this, then that, and the other, and da 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 da. And that like I I miss, I, I just, really miss. I just hear little brother songs. I'm sorry. I just hear yo yo. No man, I see. <laughs> that's that's uh, what really drew uh, me. Yes. See, <laughs> part of, yo. When I, I heard that verse, Fonte, you don't know I was that, like, nigga. first of all, Fonte, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and second of all, Fonte, damn, this motherfucker is actually right. He is on, on, like on it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, poetry was always for me. It was, you know, and that's why I can appreciate with you, Malcolm, because you know, you saying, you know, I'm a poet because for me coming up, so much of poets they were failed MCs. You know what I mean? Like they weren't really poet. They were, you know, guys is like they weren't good enough to be rappers, so they would kind of be in like this middle ground, this poetry thing. But now we're just critics. Yeah, but like, but but all they poems would be about like it, it'd just be about fucking and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it would just be like, dude, hey. like, yeah. So so now, nah, so I can appreciate <laughs> the way that you really yeah. take it poetry, and even for me. Like, so you say North Carolina had a community? We did. We had. We did. We had. Mm -hmm. a, um. Yeah. So the the song that he's referring to, um, if you're not uh. Uh, just so we know, uh, it's called the uh, it's called the Yo Yo. It was a verse I did. It was on um, it was a song, a little brother song. When I first it was a, it was a star is born. Like <laughs> all right, he's Fonte's really <laughs> underselling it. He really is, y'all. Fonte's underselling it. Uh, uh, I, I I say this, and I know I'm world famous for my my uh, my my over exaggerated hyperbole, but I will say that Fonte's verse on on yo yo My was Black like Queen. for me for me it it was almost it was a star is born buster rhyme scenario verse for a tribe called quest wow because wow, wow. i just wow. never <laughs> i never heard someone <laughs> just come over and look at my jenga <laughs> and just be like snoop dog like fuck That's your right. toys little <laughs> thing like somebody you yeah. thought you was playing with Cause right. you, I thought we was, I thought and we I was, was like, wait a minute! I thought you were on our side of the fence, oh, sir. It was. I didn't. So when I wrote that verse, it wasn't for y'all. I mean, like I looked at. First off, I never even looked at y'all as like. Oh no! Yeah. Like y'all were like. I mean, we you know, weren't in it. I, I didn't you know, take personal. You know no, I didn't yeah. take personal. And fence. I didn't look at y'all in that way. I didn't look at y'all as poets. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, MC, y'all were musicians. So nah, that was specifically for poetry. Like I did. A, I was hosting this um poetry uh, night. I got this gig. And uh, it was in Durham, and uh, it was my friend uh, Tracy Ivora and Matt Sherman. They hear this wherever they are. Uh, uh, <laughs> so you this tell this <laughs> <laughs> uh, No, I know. I love Tracy and Matt to this day. Love them. Love them to this day. Um, Tracy is actually the girl on the listening. It's uh, WJLR Slow Jams. That's Tracy. Same. Right. Okay. So anyway, okay. so um, so she had this thing. She was having this poetry night. She was like, "Yo, we want you to come host it." And I was like. All right, cool. How much y'all paying? And it was like a hundred dollars in like nigga, a hundred dollars in like two thousand. What shit? It wasn't but ten dollars to fill up my damn my little monster. Nigga, I was eating. I'm like, hell yeah, let's go. So I go and I do the joint and I'm hosting and I'm just being me. You know what I mean? I'm just doing me, I'm talking my shit, you know, just whatever, whatever. And the poets are coming up there and they're really bad. Like this, like <coughs> they really they kind of suck. Um, and so I'm just talking my shit, whatever. So afterwards, the next day we talk, she calls me after the gig and I get paid and everything. And I'm like, yeah, so when's the next one? Like, I'm ready. I'm like, I'm thinking it's going to be a monthly. I got like a little monthly, my little residency, whatever, my little hundred dollars, nigga. Oh, shit, I'm out here. <laughs> when the next joint? She was like, yeah, so we kind of got some complaints <laughs> from the patrons, you know what I mean? You know, cause I'm like, well, what complaint? Well, you know, it was you saying the N word. <laughs> and I said, well, Tracy, I don't say the N word. I say nigga. 
<laughs> let's clear that shit up real fast. You know what I mean? Like I'm just being me. You know what I mean? And but so yeah, so I I think like maybe like a week or two later, I wrote that verse, and it wasn't at poem. Oh lord, poem. I can't yes. believe I'm finding this story out now. Yeah. It wasn't about poets or any you know whatever. It was just about the pretentiousness of that scene. Now you're you're it right. wasn't about people with the crap. It was just the pretentiousness of the scene. It was just like. You know, y'all are up here like claiming to be a higher level of conscious or whatever, but the rappers are rapping about fucking girls and y'all just up here seeing talking about fucking <laughs> girls. Like, get the fuck out of here. Right. You know what I mean? So that was where that verse came from. It came from a very real place, but well, you know. that was a Star is Born moment <laughs> yes. for Fon Tigolo. All right, what yes. you oh, like, froze me uh, like... Hit us after you do, Malcolm. Okay, I will. <laughs> no, it's, it's funny. You, you, you got to love Fonte. 